yes 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 okay okay, okay. so let's let's uh, discuss more about the cross talk so last class in the last class we have gone through the concept what is the concept of the cross talking so in very short we will see so there will be one inbound delivery there will be one outbound delivery for the same product okay so uh, for the inbound delivery we first do the uh, unloading so the stock will be in your gr zone okay and after that we do the put away in the warehouse okay for the outbound we pick the uh, stock from the warehouse okay we stage at the goods issue zone and after that we will load into the outbound area so instead of doing all these things if it is matching the requirement okay the quantity in the uh, gr zone should be less than or equal to your goods issue quantity so in that case this will be the opportunistic cross stock so instead of going this stock to in the warehouse this stock will go directly to the gi zone okay and there are some prerequisites there are some exceptional uh, exceptions that that we have already discussed like for the pos based it will not uh, work if uh, the single handling unit is having the multiple products in that case also it will not work so if the uh, picking rule is uh, first in first out or first expert first out in that case also it will not work okay so let's let's have a look and uh, we have seen that uh, we have planned cross stock and opportunistic cross stock so the planned cross stock means so most of the times most of the times it's a planned one because this let's let's take an example this warehouse is uh, the tc distribution center of uh, any uh, client okay so for that this distribution center uh, the warehouse is already aware the truck is standing over here and the warehouse is waiting for the stock for that particular product okay and warehouse is already aware that this inbound truck is on the way or it will be coming at this particular time so they can uh, ask both the trucks to uh, assign to that particular uh, their, their respective door and they can directly unload at the gr zone and directly load at the gi zone okay this is a planned one and the opp opportunistic so opportunistic means we have an opportunity it is not planned it's in simple words it's unplanned so fortunately this inbound truck is arrived and at the same time this outbound truck is also arrived okay uh, otherwise it's it's a plan the outbound delivery is planned and we are just planning for the staging uh, of this particular product okay in that case what we can do in that case system will find this in this case it is not planned system will find system find an opportunity for the cross docking in this case okay so generally uh, in in the the practical scenario is more into the cross docking only okay so we will look into uh, the configuration of the opportunistic cross dock okay so the first thing we need to do here we need to activate one body okay now what is body it's a business add-in functionality okay so normally your put away picking correct all these are your standard sap functionality we want the additional functionality in this particular thing okay so this is the additional functionality provided by the sap cross docking so for, to activate this functionality we need to activate the body business adding okay we have separate section here for the body activation and it's not only for the cross docking it is available for entire sap ewm area there are a lot of functionalities actually which sap found are very helpful in most of the processes most of the clients as per the requirement so whatever we have learned so far it's a common functionality which can be used for all the clients but in the bodies it depends whether the client really wanted to uh, implement or not okay so we have the master data goods received if we want uh, something uh, additional thing uh, in the in the put away strategy then here are we have a lot of options available 
this many announcements we can do additional functionalities we can activate okay this is in case of the put away strategy then similarly we have for the peaking strategy okay so let's 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 discuss more about the cross rocking which we are discussing so again the cross rocking functionality we have seen yesterday in the last session that it can be the inbound driven or it can be the outbound driven as well so that means this functionality we can use for both the cases okay in that case so that is the reason actually this cross docking is a functionality is available under the cross process settings okay under the cross cross process settings here we have the cross docking cd okay as we have seen we have two options either planned cross docking okay here if we want to activate the body for the planned cross docking and we have one more option that is a opportunistic cross docking okay and as we have discussed that this opportunistic cross docking will be for inbound driven it will be either inbound driven or it will be outbound driven okay so yes here in most of the times it will be already activated for your system if it is not activated simply you need to take this okay take this particular thing and save so in our case it's already activated here you can see this functionality is already activated okay if you want to know what is in the in this body what functionality exactly they are implementing so simply by clicking here here you will get all the information okay and similarly we have one more which we will uh, we are going to test that is for the outbound trigger okay here also it is already activated okay it's just the additional functionality we are trying to implement we are telling to the system that apart from inbound and outbound i want the cross docking functionality as well okay any doubt in the cross uh, body implementation only you need to pick this thing in most of the cases it will be already activated in your case okay this is very simple thing and most of the times uh, sometimes the upper will activate these bodies and all the things okay so after this body implementation we have some configurations required how to do some configurations okay so in the cross docking uh in the cross process setting in the cross docking in the opportunistic cross docking okay so here we just have to assign one indicator for our warehouse okay we have only one configuration so here i have already listed down actually first is your uh, activate body for inbound and outbound okay and after that put away and picking strategy and after that we need to assign one indicator it's it's a product group actually we can call it as a indicator as well it can be the product group or it can be the product group types okay so as you can see for my warehouse number ga09 i have assigned this product uh, group type as a cd okay this section will be for the inbound here you can see actually the pop up this uh, that that in the last it's inb that means it's for the inbound okay and here it will be for the outbound okay now if you want to activate only for inbound in that case maintain only cd in the inbound section if you want for some of the products it should be uh, it should work only for the inbound for some of the products it should work only for the outbound in that case you can maintain as a cd and co correct and for that particular products you can maintain only this indicator either cd or uh, either co in our case we are just trying to uh, implement this for in both the cases inbound as well as outbound so for both i have maintained cd uh, cd it's up to you actually you can maintain same otherwise you can maintain different as well cd and co it's up to you 
you can queue it uh, any name okay so for the products which are assigned with this product group type as a cd so all those products will be uh, will get activated for the opportunistic cross docking okay so this is what we did actually we have activated for that particular product group type for that particular warehouse so in our case it's cd we have maintained that indicator as cd okay and what we will do what we will do we will maintain that indicator in the product master So earlier we were using the T code called slash in slash SCWM slash mat1. Okay. Now let's see what is the difference between the SCWM mat1 and SAP APO mat1. Both are the T codes for the material master only, but one is for the global data and this is for the warehouse specific information okay i have provided 9034 okay 9034 so here it is checking the information relevant to this warehouse number okay for this warehouse number this is my data okay for this warehouse number this is my data okay and this is something global which will be applicable for all the warehouses if this particular product is available in 10 warehouses then for all the 10 warehouses this product will be uh, applicable this setting will be uh, applicable okay oh sorry it's it's locked by my id only so basically the point here is this is the warehouse number specific data scwm mat1 which we use frequently and here we have the global data okay in the global data sap apo mat1 in the properties too here we can maintain actually the product group type so here we have maintained as a cross rock cd this is the product group and this is product group type okay So what we have seen so far, activation of body, okay, we have activated that particular thing for that particular warehouse number and the product group. Now we have maintained that product group in your material master, okay. Now let's see what we need to do in the put away strategy and picking strategy. So basically in the put away strategy, in the put away strategy, we are maintaining we are telling to the system that this particular product should go into this particular storage types okay so let's see in the system let's go in the system the strategies storage type search okay so what we are doing in the put away strategy for this particular combination we have maintained one search sequence storage type search sequence as putw okay so and inside this search sequence we are maintaining different different storage types right so let's see what are the storage types we have maintained This is the one PUTW one net. Okay. 
सो कैन यू सी जीरो जीरो फाइव जीरो 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 टू जीरो 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 वन जीरो 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 एट जीरो एंड एडिशन टू दिस आई हैव मेंटेन नाइन जीरो टू टू जीरो सो दिस नाइन जीरो टू जीरो इज द एडिशनल एंट्री विच आई हैव एडेड विच इज फॉर द जी आई जोन करेक्ट नाइन जीरो वन जीरो इज फॉर योर जी आर जोन एंड नाइन जीरो टू जीरो इज फॉर योर जी आई जोन गुड्स इशू जोन ओके दो इट्स इन द लास्ट बट सिस्टम विल ट्राई टू सर्च इट यू कैन मेंटेन दिस एनी वेयर एक्चुअली ओके एंड वाई दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज समटाइम्स वी आर यूजिंग नाइन जीरो टू जीरो समटाइम्स वी आर मेंटेनिंग सम विथ विथ सम डिफरेंट पैरामीटर राइट लाइक समवन विल मेंटेन एज जी आई जेड जेड एन करेक्ट समवन विल मेंटेन एज जी आई जीरो वन द स्टोरेज टाइप नेम ओके दैट इज द रीजन एक्चुअली वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड दिस डिटेल्स so that while doing the put away while searching the destination bin system will try to search in this storage type as well okay and same thing you have to do for the picking as well strategies So for two zero one zero, we have maintained as peak, okay. And if you have noticed, I have removed this removal rule. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay, and after that, we need to maintain the storage type, right? So for this peak. I have maintained this nine zero one zero 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 two zero, and wherever it will be, system will try to find that particular source storage pin. Okay, so this nine zero one zero will be your GR zone. Mm. So system will try to first search in your GR zone. That means when we are Uh, creating the picking task for this outbound delivery system will try to first search in the gr zone if the stock is available if not available in that case system will search in the warehouse okay if stock is available here then system will just try to uh, link this stock to this outbound delivery okay so what we did we now adjusted the put away strategy and picking strategy okay and we have now assigned the cross stock indicator to the product master as well okay and we have one more indicator actually that i am not sure whether i have added into the pt ppt just let me check cross stock activation correct RD activation, activate the problem trigger. Okay. Then your picking strategy. This is your product master. Yes. Okay. We have one more configuration step required. Okay. That I will tell you actually. And I will tell you at the time of. Okay, stock determination. Okay, stock determination is also required. So let me. Okay, I have created some inbound deliveries and outbound deliveries. Okay. And I will tell you what is the importance of this stock determination, and I will add this in your PPT also. I forget to add in the PPT.
okay now what is the importance of the stock determination when we are searching the stock for the PRDO in that case we are searching in the warehouse correct okay now what is the importance of the stock determination for the picking delivery for the outbound delivery when we are trying to create the picking warehouse task at that time we are searching inside the warehouse okay we are not searching here now for this storage types what is the sto uh, availability group we have maintained 002 that means system will try to search for the stock type as f2 in the ERP side, the stock will be on your AFA storage location available for sale storage location. But here for the GR zone, the stock type will be F1. So if you do not maintain this, in that case, system will not try to uh, find the stock uh, here. System will try to uh, find the stock here, but system will not get that stock. System will not pick that stock because the stock type here is the F1 okay let's i will i will show you actually one minute this is the latest outbound delivery which i have created actually so what is the stock type system system is searching for it's f2 right and uh, what will be the stock type here for the GR zone? It's availability group 001. That means it will be the F1. So we will have to allow this F1 as well. Correct. So that exceptional we are maintaining in your stock determination. Okay. So I have created this stock determination group as a CD for my warehouse. Okay okay let me paste this diagram and here for this particular indicator we will have to tell to do the system that we have to consider this stock type as well. Okay, we are telling to the system that permit F1 as well for this combination. Permit F1 stock type as well for this particular combination this we are telling to the system uh, someone please remind me to upload this uh, fresh ppt okay and this indicator we need to assign in the product master okay in the mad fund scwm mad 24 where we do maintain your uh, speaking stock remote control indicator on all these things right so i will just maintain that indicator in the warehouse data tab in the outbound side uh, it's already maintained so in the stock remote section we have something called as stock determination group okay if you want to know more in that case just press f1 and here you will get the basic idea of what is the stock determination group okay so this stock determination group also we have maintained for this particular product master okay so now i have created some inbound delivery okay for this particular product uh, 
and there are a lot of invulnerabilities for this product okay so if you notice uh, i have not completed the put away for these deliveries okay actually i have selected all the deliveries and i did the gr so this particular cross docking is possible only when the stock is available at your gr zone okay if the delivery gr is not completed here in this case i have done this gr okay if the de this delivery gr is not completed in that case inbound delivery is only planned the stock is not received the stock is not available in the gr zone only after the unloading after doing the gr when stock is available in the gr zone in that case only this cross stock will work okay so let's see the monitor it's 9034 right and we are looking for only gr zone okay so this much stock is now available in your gr zone there are a lot of actually and there are so many inches and if you notice here the stock type is f1 okay so i will just try to create the warehouse task for the outbound delivery okay and let's see which storage pin system will suggest so this is my uh, newly created outbound delivery against the sales order fresh delivery so the status is not started for every everything 9034 is my product quantity required is 10 okay and i will just try to create the warehouse task if you notice here here the stock type is f2 we are required the stock type of f2 here the stock type is f1 okay in normal scenario system will not accept this particular thing system will not allow you to pick the stock of f1 stock type stock type okay but here let's see which stock type system will for which storage bin system will try to create the picking warehouse task so can you see here the task is getting created from your gr zone this is your source storage bin and this is your destination storage bin the task is getting created directly from the gr zone to gi zone okay so let's try to create actually so that you will have an better understanding actually of this uh, process okay so the nine warehouse tasks are created okay so let's see this warehouse task okay so if you notice here here you will find the two references here you can see the source pin is your gr zone and destination pin is your gi zone okay okay let's see one more outbound delivery which we have completed earlier and after that we will compare both the warehouse task so that you will be able to understand it clearly so this warehouse task we will create uh, so i will show you the older delivery which is already completed
Yeah, here the pool issue is already completed. Okay. So here, if you notice, the stock got picked from your actual warehouse. Okay. And what was the stock type? It's F2. Okay. So the moment was like from the source storage bin from your 0020 uh, storage type to your GI zone. Okay. This is one of the uh, thing. Here the stock type is your F1. Okay. Then it's going from GR zone to your GI zone. Okay, this is one of the difference and here if you notice in the reference in the document reference here you can see only PDO document this PDO document is nothing but your outbound delivery number there is only one reference was there in the earlier deliveries for the normal delivery but here now here you can see two references okay here you can see two references PDO means your outbound delivery number PDI means your inbound delivery number so this particular HU this particular HU is assigned to inbound delivery this inbound delivery so against this inbound delivery this particular HU we have received at GR zone ideally it has to go to into the warehouse but there was one delivery outbound delivery here so it directly got linked to that particular outbound delivery so let's see if this HO is really available in this delivery or not okay this is the say the 9034 2 quantity okay the same issue is there right with reference to this inbound delivery we have received the stock in your gr zone here yeah, with reference to this inbound delivery we have received the stock at your gr zone correct the same issue number was there and here you can see the reference as, as well for the the same warehouse task see same warehouse task references over in the uh, available in the inbound delivery as well now i will just try to pick the stock for the outbound delivery and uh, this is the one i will just try to confirm this warehouse task So can you see the put away is now completed. We have confirmed the task at the outbound delivery but for the inbound delivery the put away got completed. So in the same warehouse task, in the same warehouse task only one warehouse task was there from GR zone to GR zone. Correct. So inbound got completed and outbound also got completed. Okay clear everyone what is the cross-talking 
any doubt any issues configuration wise very uh, less configuration is required actually for the cross login more one more thing right stop determination in case of retail business in case of uh, the the dc's the clients the warehouses which are the dc locations distribution center or the shipping locations for the warehouses for those in such warehouses this is very important concept actually the cross talking very widely used concept okay any any doubt anyone 